In this recording, I'm going to take you through a quick video of what is changing with our DOT22 Cerner upgrade this coming weekend. You'll notice that much of what you see looks very similar to what you have today. This is being done intentionally to minimize the education needed and to minimize disruptions to your work. There will be some new features and new components released at a future date, but these will be done in a very graduated and intentional manner. So what you see on my screen on the left of my screen is after the dot 22 upgrade on the right is the current version of Cerner power chart we have today. You'll notice a few changes right off the bat. I'll start at the top. You'll notice some changes to the icons for tagging and chart search and your orders. Additionally, there have been some changes to the font size. You'll notice the shading is different in some of the different components with a lighter shading in the new version. Several of the buttons have been increased in size to make them easier to select. The add additional items option has been moved from next to the title of the component over to the right. The same drop down options that you're used to will still be available. In the problem list component again, you'll notice very few changes with the exception of the colors and shading. You will notice in the mock version, you see HCC next to some of the problems. This will be a feature that we will be turning on in the very near future to help identify those chronic problems that also qualify as an HCC. There will be more education around this change coming very soon, but it will be a positive change to be able to quickly identify those problems that need addressing. Again, the home medications component, not much changing beyond the coloring. You still have the responsible provider face up as well as compliance and estimated supply remaining. There is one change to the histories component that is the social history now defaults to the first tab. If you'll recall in our current version it is the procedure tab. You can drag and drop these around and they will stick now. Not much changing for health maintenance. One of the things that I did want to point out that isn't a new change but something that many people may not be aware of is under health maintenance there are several options where you can show only your favorite or those items that you particularly are dealing with under health maintenance. There's also a settings feature where you can change the time selector for pending as well as customizing columns. You can see in my, I have hidden the priority and only have the frequency in the next due time. Nothing really changing in the patient education. It still works the exact same. Remember that under meaningful use and now MIPS, you do need to select from the suggested education. This is done based on the problems that have been added for this visit as well as your chronic problems. Which is on the checkout component. Um, those of you that use this in our current version will recall that the patient education check mark um, has, a, has an error in it in that if you sign your note before providing education, signing the note will also qualify as the patient education. I'm happy to report that in the new version, patient education no longer completes unless you have actually added patient education. It will no longer complete by simply adding and signing a note. 
Um, you can see the visual changes for the rest of the component. The remainder of the components look very similar to those that are you're used to today. So that concludes my quick tour through what's coming in the Dot 22 release this weekend. There have been several other educational handouts as well as a couple other videos put together. If you have any additional questions or would like some additional information, please let your clinic advocate know or feel free to reach out to myself.